Hey Terps, Jonathan was wrong, tooth and budget here. So I'm here with a quick PSA. So I'm, I've, been, I've been noticing a meme that it's funny when uh, you know a guy leaves his cell phone with his girlfriend and then he is freaking the hell out because he has to get to it before she does. I don't think that's funny. I think that's sad and pathetic. I love how p people walking their dog think it's okay to just, you know, walk wherever in the middle of the street and then stop and then handle their dog's poop with their hands. Anyway, derailed. Um, <laughs> I'll do another PSA on, on, on dog creeps another time. But anyway, so here's the thing. If you ask your boyfriend or girlfriend or like whatever, to like, you know, see their phone and they get weird, leave them. Don't talk about it, leave them. Get out, get out of that relationship, go. Every, every, every single person right now in a relationship, I want you to see if you can, if you're allowed to go through your significant other's phone. I'm talking real relationship, not, not casually dating. If you're if you're in a committed relationship and 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 your and, and your counterpart will not give you their phone or will freak out if you even suggest it or like why why do you need my phone? I want you to leave them. They are liars and cheaters and they're doing something that that they are horrified that you will find out about. All right, if they're doing anything behind your back that would horrify them for you to find out about, get the hell away from them. All right? Get out. And you know what? If you're if you're if you're, you know, if you're talking dirty with other people and, you know, sending naked pictures to other people or like whatever else, you know? You know what? Stay with them cuz cuz you deserve each other. You could, you could, you could, you could, you go ahead and quarantine yourselves and just, I don't know, cheat on a wood chipper. But anyway, um, <laughs> if you're, if, if your boyfriend or girlfriend will not give you their phone and would even be horrified at the premise, get the hell out of that relationship. It's not funny. It shouldn't be socially acceptable. It shouldn't be just, whoa, one of those things, you know, don't, don't let your girlfriend in at your cell phone. No! You should not be doing anything you're ashamed of. You should not be doing anything you do not want other people to know about. Especially someone you're sharing your life with and you supposedly love. Seriously, F you. You're gonna, you're gonna maintain a relationship where you're doing stuff that is so horrifying that you would like beat a person up if they even tried to take your phone from you. You're you're a real effing scumbag. Seriously. You're a real piece of garbage. So everyone out there, every every young lady, every young man, if you're if your significant other, oh, I got a Freemason in front of me. MM913. We got the double M. We got the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, it's, it's right on the, um, the G with the square is right on the license plate. MM Master Mason, 33, 913, probably means something, I would imagine. I'm not seeing any other markings. I've seen a couple of these. The, uh, they got the, uh, Freemason square and compass. And then they got the MM, could be Master Mason, could be 33, you know. Either way, it uh, translates to I love Satan, so F them. Good luck with that. Jesus is coming, baby. Jesus is coming for you. All your fancy handshakes won't save you. All your fancy handshakes won't save you. Sorry. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm overtly combative with uh, Freemasons. I like to stare at their cars and scream stuff at them. Um, <laughs> I, I make myself a known adversary. 
That's how I operate. Anyway, like I said, if, you're, uh, if your significant other will not give you their phone, get out. Get out of that relationship. That's all I have to say about that. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day and God bless you.